Hi, and thanks for stopping in today. We're going to be reviewing the parts of custom in-the-ear hearing aids. This first style on the left is a full shell in-the-ear or ITE device. In the center, we have an in-the-canal or ITC device. And at the end, we have a completely in-the-canal or CIC device. We'll first take a look at the ITE and ITC since they're fairly similar. Here's the ITE on the left. That's the largest of the custom styles and fills up most of the ear and bowl of the ear. This is the canal portion that fits into the ear canal where an earplug would. And we've got two openings at the end of that canal portion. The air vent here at the bottom and at the top with the little white wax filter in it is the sound bore where the sound comes out of the hearing aid. This portion is called the face plate of the hearing aid. This is what's facing the outside world when the device is in your ear. At the bottom again, we see the other side of the air vent. That air vent runs all the way through from the outside part of the face plate, through the canal portion and into the ear canal. Other things to note on the face plate are the two microphone openings right here on either side of the battery door. And the battery door is right there in the center. There's a little notch on the end of the door that you can use to open that battery door up. The ITC is very similar, although smaller in size compared to the ITE. But again, we have the canal portion here with the air vent on the bottom and the sound bore with the white wax filter there on the top. Again, faceplate is very similar with the air vent on the bottom. In this case, there's only one microphone opening, although sometimes there are two on an ITC. And we've got the battery door here in the center again which you can open up and the battery sits in the door itself it's like a little cup. Now on either the ITC or ITE, you may sometimes find a push button or volume wheel um, or both on the faceplate of the device. Neither of today's examples have those, but those are options. The CIC or completely in the canal device is one of the smallest styles available. It is, of course, mostly made up of the canal portion of the device with an air vent and the sound bore with the white wax filter in the tip. The faceplate is quite small. You generally won't find a push button or volume wheel because of the size. Um, the air vent, of course, is at the bottom again. Typically, there's one microphone opening and then the battery door is right in the center. These tend to use the smallest size batteries. Now, because it's recessed so far into the ear canal, there's typically a pull string or pull cord or removal line attached to the hearing aid to help the patient pull it out of their ear once they're done using it for the day. And as always, if you have any questions about your particular hearing aid, or if you need any in-person review of what we've gone over today, please give the office a call and one of the audiologists will be happy to review that with you. Thanks and have a great day.